in this paper that Sam Channing and I uh, are writing actually about is about price dynamics and how this affects inequality and growth, actually proportionness of growth. So we start from the fact, from the observation that is not new that actually specific income groups face different price dynamics. And especially this price dynamics uh, and this price uh, and this cost of living dynamics depend on their expenditure structures. And so this deflator is usually not the same as the CPI because the CPI has been shown by uh, Angus Deaton and others is uh, usually reflects the expenditure structures of richer people and usually urban households. So if we have that poorer people consume basic food more and at the same time we have that the price of basic food goes up much more than other products prices then we might have consequences on, on inequality measures and also on the proportionness of growth. So we know that that's precisely what happened in the 2007-2009 uh, crisis when basically basic food prices went up together with fuel prices and this is at an international level. This is maize and rice and fuel and other basic products went up a lot. And the crisis also hit many developing countries, especially those that are food importers. So we take Mozambique as a case study because Mozambique is a food importer and experienced domestically this upsurge in the price of basic food. We can see from this figure that starting from 2007, price of wheat, price of maize, and price of rice went up a lot in Mozambique. Now, we de decided then to understand better how these price dynamics affected inequality and inequality measures. So, uh, we divided all consumed products into three categories, mainly, uh, well, namely, known food, basic food, and non-basic food, let's say. We call them core food, which is most important, most important food, accounting for like 75% of consumption, and uh, non-core food. We can see here which were the price dynamics of these categories. The blue line is the national CPI. The red line is non-food. The purple line is instead non-core food and the green line is core food. We can see that between 2007 and 2009, core food prices went up much more than non-food and non-core food prices. And especially if we look at the, the national CPI, we can see that this does not represent very well this upsurge. So we decided to, to build, uh, to, to see whether different percentiles, different income percentiles, experience different, uh, different inflation rates. And that's precisely, that's precisely what, what we found, that like lower and middle income percentile groups, they experience a, a rate of inflation around 190, but the richest percentiles in Mozambique experience a much lower inflation rate, especially the richest ones. So we created a deflator which, is, which incorporates household-specific information, the household-specific uh, expenditure structure. <laughs>